and welcome back as we're about to get underway here in this one. It's Sankey in the backfield. Sankey's going to take the handoff now. He's brought down right around the 43-yard line. He's now got 70-plus yards on the ground. Running backs in the NFL now, it's hard to bring them down. That time, nice job of breaking the tackle. Now third and four following the run. Will go Brown. <laughs> the Titans have decided now to go for it on fourth down and a short yardage situation. Let's go. Takes it again. Muscles through the defender. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. The Titans roll the dice and pick up the first on fourth down. Yeah, I like that analogy. Roll the dice. Sometimes you got to take a chance and hope it comes up seven. Well, I don't know about the seven, but they pick up the first down. They hand it off to him again. Sankey's tackled down at the 39. As we've seen today, this is a team that's dedicated to the run, and it's paid off with some very good stats on the ground. Well, it shows you what the coach thinks. He believes in running the football, and when you believe in it, what happens to your football team? They become tough, and they have shown that toughness here today. That's why they have such a good ground game going. And with these incredible rushing numbers, it's no surprise to see this team on top. They are dominating on the offensive line. There's no question about that. They're being very physical, and that's why they're leading this football game. When it's third and short, the defensive line, you got to guess. You got to think it's going to be a run play. I don't know what they were thinking. They let the offense just push them back, and they give up the first down. Good job by the offense, though. First and ten. The Titans staying with their running attack. He didn't get many yards that time on that run, but he's had a terrific day. When there's an opportunity to get some yards, he's been there to take advantage of. It's Sankey in the backfield. Sankey's tackled down after a gain of five. He's up over 90 yards so far on the day. This long drive continues. The Titans have really been dominant today on the offensive side. In the red zone now, they just take the football and they run it right at the defense and pick up solid yards. Nice job that time by the offense, getting the first down inside the red zone. And it's a good thing they got a quarterback with a strong arm because you've got to throw into some tight spots in the red zone. First and goal. Takes it across, and he's in for the touchdown. Getting close to the half, and they're giving their opponents a lot to talk about in the locker room. Yeah, they are putting some kind of whipping on them here early in the game. I'll just say this for the defensive side that's losing. It's been terrible. So go in there at halftime, change what you're doing, and get back in this game. The Titans now will tack on the extra point. Inside of the uprights. The Cardinals are getting ready for the return. And can they return to a competitive state in this one as the game is starting to get out of hand? The scores 21 to 0. The Cardinals are ready to return the kickoff. Nelson's going to start his return. And they crash into him, ending the return at the 20 yard line. The Titans defense, Phil, has been truly dominant here today. 
Sometimes when you see a game like this, you go, oh, it might be boring, but this defense has been so dominating and so active in what they're trying to do, it's been fun to watch. And this will end up as a two-yard loss. The Cardinals offensive coordinator, he has to be frustrated by that play. I think he calls the right play, but what happens? The run loses yards. That's just a bad job by the offensive line. Second down and 12. Ellington's going to secure the handoff. Halftime, two minutes away. This is third down. We're back, and we're coming out of the two-minute warning in the first half. Right back to him. They bring him down, and the offense fails to pick up a first down on three plays. The Cardinals trying to catch the defense by surprise here on third and long. They go with the run, and sometimes those runs on third and long work when you can pick up a first down. But that time the defense was ready. They tried it, and it didn't work. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. The Titans are going to head to the break with a pretty comfortable lead here, Phil. Yeah, it's really been good offensive play. I love it. The way the offensive line is playing together, not making any mistakes and giving the quarterback and everybody else a chance to have good success. First down at the 20. Sankey's got it on the handle. And Weatherspoon in on the tackle. Well, not many yards to get there on that play, but it doesn't matter. What a day and what a job this running back has, has done here. The Titans go with two tight ends on this play. Second and nine. They'll run it here. Breaks out of the tackle. Gains 18. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. You got to be big, strong. You got to be tough. And we saw all those qualities that time in that run. Look at the broken tackle. The Titans have it at the 39. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. If you're running back and you want more carries, do things like this. Read the defense right, read the blocking, and pick up first downs. That's a really good job by the running back. First and 10 to the ground. The Titans get a first down. That'll do it for the second quarter here in the Music City. We'll be back to Nashville after halftime for the start of the third quarter. All right, Larry, thank you for all of those updates. And now the teams are coming back onto the field, and we're about to get the second half started. Brown's going to take a knee, so this will come out to the 20. The Cardinals have seen this game just get away from them as it continues to get worse They've still got more than a quarter to play. Well, look, it's been a good learning experience, and you realize how tough this game is. So learn what you're doing here in this last bit of the game.